Welcome back to Let's Play Gateway to the Savage Frontier. This is DOSBox Mom. Our party is just outside the adventurer shop where we went after we finished clearing off the last of the little Sentinel Keep patrols. And now if we turn west, we can come upon that bridge ambush from the other end. Be nice if we could flank them. You're coming up behind the guards at the eastern end of the stone bridge. The force stationed there still looks very powerful, although it's smaller than it was before. Okay, well I think I've taken out all the patrols there that you can. I can step forward one more space before I trigger the ambush. Yeah. I'll go there and I'm going to save the game here. And I will cast protective spells at this point. You know, bless and prayer are always useful. As is mirror image. They will cast enlarge on crevish. see who else shall we cast in large on. Hmm. Maybe our paladin. Okay. And I think I will save with a different save position this time. Just in case this whole thing goes south. And now we'll move forward and trigger the battle. Valgamon's forces rush to the attack! Okay, this is the big battle for this part of the game. As you can see, there's tons of manticores. Yeah. Okay. So let's start in on this. We do have at least one fireball that we should be able to use. Oh crap. Okay, looks like we were going to be using scroll spells. Lots and lots of matacores. Okay, let's see. Like matacores out the wazoo. Okay. You know, I am not seeing any Zettel fighters here. It's just Manticores. Okay, she doesn't have any spells she can cast. Okay, now I'm going to move him one space forward. 
and look for some place to cast that fireball of his. And hope to goodness he gets a chance to get that off before a Maticor aims at him. Let's see. Yeah. I did also carefully check everybody's encumbrance and make sure that everybody was lightly laden enough so that they'd be at their full movement rate. Okay, I think this should be far enough. This is a situation where we're definitely going to be using spell scrolls. Actually, we don't even have to do this now. So if this goes really bad, we might bad dream reboot. Okay. Yeah, this is not going well. I think maybe the last time I was playing this game and I got to this battle, I had two single class mages in the party. Yeah. I've already used his one fireball spell. Let's see if he's got anything else. So I could really use a wand of fireballs if I had it. Okay, we've got our wand of ice storm and we've got a lightning bolt spell. Let's try that wand of ice storm. I haven't used it before now. Hopefully it'll do some good now. At least it took out those. Of course, we've got all these other uh, manticores here. If it goes too badly, we're just going to forget this battle ever happened and try to get out of town without triggering the battle.
Hmm. I wonder if there's a way we can reduce the difficulty level in camp, which would give these Maticors fewer hit points and make it easier to take them out. I don't normally like to do that, but this might be a situation where it would be useful. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. This should be my last charge on the wand of ice storm here, so we need to use it well. Yep, that should do it. Okay. One down, a zillion to go. At least that's what it feels like. going to concentrate on the ones that we're already in melee contact with. <laughs> oh, it's fine with me if, if they don't want to use their spine attacks. We still have some charges left in that wand of ice storm. Fantastic. Okay, that's as far back as I can go. Well, we'll attempt to finish this off off camera and if the party totally fails then we'll try again or forget about the whole thing. See you then.